What's up guys, how's it going? As you guys can see, we outdoors today, giving you guys something a little bit different. So this is just a little bed that I had. Got some of these side plants, or maybe some of you call them onion, green onion, whatever you call it, that's what this is. And I've actually got a few of them just across there that have started to flower. They actually got pollinated. I don't know how that happened. That's not something that I've ever seen before, but it's pretty freaking crazy. Just in case you're wondering, this is a stick of dynamite that I'm gonna use to blow this whole shit up after you smash the like button. So make sure you hit the freaking like. <laughs> Just joking guys, this is honestly some Dynomyco, so huge shout out to Dynomyco. If you guys are interested in copying some mycorrhizal inoculants, this is some premium, premium quality stuff guys. Then you can use the discount code ICANTHC420 on their official website on Amazon and you can grab yourself a nice little discount. It's got some cool ass packaging as well, it looks like a little stick of dynamite it's really really neat so you guys definitely check him out man i'm fully wrapping him today got him on a t-shirt got him on a hat even got uh, some rolling papers here as well so huge shout out to dynamico you know they always got your boy covered and we always got you covered so definitely check out the discount codes and dynamico is rare hat this packaging man it's so lit like we said on the talking loud podcast man gotta stay away from airports with these they'll probably they'll probably snatch your shit Bruh. but all that said dude you may be wondering why we're out here in the garden right now anyway and what's going on with these raised beds well as you can see not too much is going on with them but in a future episode i'm going to show you how you can utilize your raised beds if you're an outdoor gardener that shit's perfect for you man you can actually grow some fire out here without having to fill it all the way up with potting mix and soil because that can get expensive so i'm gonna show you a few hacks in a future video about how you can do that but what i'm really out here today for is guys that i've got a plant over there that's got some really bad aphids on it and a lot of home growers get issues with aphids in the garden so i'm going to show you exactly what it looks like and exactly what an army of them looks like because that shit's crazy man and how badly it can affect your plant because got some plants over here man they're suffering and they're rosebuds and they're really nice plants but they're suffering man so we're going to show you exactly how these aphids affect these plants how they get down what they do and um some preventative measures most times if it's this bad you should probably just burn the whole thing burn the whole goddamn thing but uh a lot of times you can get some biological control in there and it'll prey on those bugs and just really help clean stuff up for you of course if it's outdoors it's a plant you're not consuming pesticides are fine insecticides are fine those sort of stuff once it's not too harsh you should be able to get through with it but it's just crazy what's going on here man and for a lot of people who have outdoor gardens you know sort of like this be very careful when you're tracking stuff back inside you don't want to get any pests any bugs on your clothes some of them jump on your clothes and go inside so once i'm done out here i'm definitely gonna have to take a full shower because i don't want anything getting into the grow room man it's honestly freaking crazy but these beds right now they look a little sad we're gonna fill them up right now is the perfect time to do it a lot of people are gardening outdoors summertime it's really really nice a lot of sun all over the world man i heard the heat waves in the uk but anyway i'm rambling so let's get straight on into some of those aphids in the rows push because it looks pretty freaking ugly man okay guys so as you can see i'm out here with the rose bush i'm really not trying to get too close to this thing because like it's it's everywhere man there are aphids everywhere there's a lot of droppings there's a lot of like web webby stuff which may lead you to think that it's actually spider mice but it's not i've actually hit up sink angel about this sent him some pictures and stuff and yeah he, uh, he's the one who actually advised me as to what it is man so there are a lot of like little droppings and stuff that you can see it's like blazing sun out here guys like it's been almost 40 degrees celsius not sure what that is in fahrenheit but it's been pretty hot out here recently so these things love the heat and in all this heat guys there's honestly no moisture it's pretty dry out here as well so all the gravel that you see around it's really dry except for this one spot a lot of the leaves under the plant and stuff man there a lot of honeydew is being dropped down here so if you guys know these sort of pests drop a lot of honeydew some pests drop that stuff and just i don't know i i don't know what it is but they just drop it man so that's a sign that you may have some pests because i've got a few going on here and underneath here is looks it looks literally wet guys like i'm gonna get in here and show you guys but it looks super wet uh it does not look look healthy at all a lot of the plants a lot of the leaves the foliage as you can see is dying what these aphids literally do is pierce the leaves and pierce the tissues and suck all that fluid and juices out of there and i'm looking down here man and i can see like hundreds of these green bugs man hundreds and hundreds and hundreds man so uh these are micro 
microscopic. Eh? These are pretty small. You can see them, but they're they're really small, man. So you can miss them easily as well. And they could get on your clothes and on your skin very easily. Like it's just it's just a whole mess down here, man. But a lot of the the bugs and stuff seem to love this rosebud. I'm not sure what's going on. There's also one across there. But these are things that you definitely need to look out for, man. If you got an outdoor garden, you got a garden where you grow vegetables, you grow herbs, any of that stuff, then you definitely need to look out for any pests so you don't track them into your uh, sacred area, you know? So definitely look out for some of those things, man. But I just wanted to give you guys a little look at what's going on out here because as you guys can see, it's some crazy stuff. I'm actually seeing one ladybug right now at work. It's crazy. I never, ever knew that there were any ladybugs out here. I actually got some to... Uh, deal with it myself but it seems that they're having a field here there's another one there too so i'm gonna grab the camera now let me just grab the camera and show you guys exactly what's going on but they are having a field day with these uh these stuff where are they where are they i just saw them i know i just saw them this one under this leaf here right, right here you guys can see him on screen now actually perfectly he's just he's just crossing through and eating up some of these pests and bugs man and I'm really happy to see that, man, because honestly, out here has been a problem. It's super hot, as you guys can probably tell. But uh, yeah, guys, most definitely look out for all these sorts of pests and stuff out here. We've got another rose bush in the back here, and of course, they're attacking that one as well. So we're going to get a few more of these ladybugs in, and hopefully they will have a field day and eat all this shit up. Um, I'm really trying not to use any harmful insecticides and stuff, because I just don't really want to don't want to use that, man. I just don't want to use them. It'll be a last resort, if you get what I'm trying to say. We'll see how that stuff goes, man, but it's crazy. There are literally ladybugs. They probably found out, hey, there's a lot of food here. It's like free KFC. It's like free McDonald's. It's like free Shake Shack. Like, whatever you want to call it. Pizza. I don't know. Yeah, so it's pretty interesting, man. There's been a lot of bees out here pollinating and stuff but uh, i just wanted to give you guys a look at how badly a aphid infestation can affect your plant man because this looks like aphids that's at least what i think if you guys think there's any other bug that can cause this any other pests or anything like that drop a comment down below and let me know as you guys can see i'm just trying to keep my distance from this plant there's a little bit of breeze so i don't want any shit to blow on to me but i'm gonna still have to fully disinfect myself once i get inside man but um really crazy man it's crazy if you guys have got any outdoor gardens you guys would probably know what this stuff is about but i just really wanted to give you guys an up close look at some of the damage that can be caused by these little pests man and this is a strong bush eh so imagine your plant that you're taking care of that's why ipm is key you gotta do ipm man if you don't know what ipm is check out talking loud podcast with sync angel man but anyway guys we just wanted to show you guys that hope you guys have a blessed and awesome freaking day smash the like button hit the bell don't forget those two things help out a lot smash the join button down below get some dope ass perks on the channel man i will see you guys in the next one peace fam for now i gotta deal with that rose bush man you see that over my shoulder that's what i gotta deal with